fully loaded train can weigh more than 10,000 tons. That's heavier than dozens of fully loaded airplanes combined. So how does something that massive actually stop? The answer isn't brute force. It's coordination, physics, and a system designed to never fail. When a train driver slows down, they don't apply brakes the way a car does. Instead, they control an air brake system that runs through the entire length of the train. Every single carriage has its own brakes. They're all connected by one long pipe filled with compressed air. As long as that air pressure stays high, the brakes stay released. To slow the train, pressure is reduced. And when the pressure drops, every brake activates at the same time. This is crucial. If only the front cars braked first, the rest of the train would keep pushing forward. That could snap couplings or even derail the train. Now here's the clever part. If that air pipe ever breaks on from damage separation or failure, the pressure instantly drops and the brakes apply automatically. The train doesn't need a command. It stops itself. At higher speeds, modern trains use something called dynamic braking. The electric motors that normally move the train switch rolls and become generators. They create resistance, slowing the wheels while converting motion into electrical energy. That's why trains start braking long before they reach a station. Not because they're inefficient on, but because physics demands distance. Steel wheels on steel rails have very little friction. That makes trains efficient, but it also means stopping takes planning. Every slowdown is calculated. Every stop is controlled. Every system is backed up by another. Thousands of tons moving at high speed, brought to rest smoothly. Not by strength, but by smart engineering. Quiet. Predictable. Safe.